and the fabulous 300 SL engine. Let's take a quick tour. Put it on the pole. 180 cubic inches, 250 horsepower, not bad for 1957. This is the heart of the operation, direct fuel injection, the fuel injection pump, fuel injection lines into the injectors. Notice the injectors are going directly into the block, into the combustion chamber. They do not go into the cylinder head. This is direct injection. Pop-off pressure approximately 800 PSI, very close to diesel uh, range and diesel technology. External oil lines, external oil pump. Here's our, our artificial external uh, oil sump. This is a dry sump engine. Uh, external supply pump for the injection pump, which is not the same as the electric fuel pump to supply fuel to the um, engine. Uh, this is our choke. Uh, all, the, all kinds of oil lines all over the place to make this thing function. Uh, Oil pressure gauge, very, very compact uh, transmission, even has its own oil pump, internal oil pump right here for uh, for lubricating the uh, main shaft. Uh, the, uh, oil pump, the transmission is uh, has a pressure feed oil pump. And let's see, what else we got? The aftermarket uh, oil filter inside here, starter, water pump. Uh, driven off of the back of the generator. Throttle body, uh, chain tensioner, and what else can we look at here? I think that's probably good. Let's see if we can't crank the beast up for a test. I don't know. Electric pump on. Ignition on. Two ignition sources, dual point, dual ignition. Dual coil, dual point. All right. 